Interestingly enough, uh, unfortunately, a number of authors claim that revival of religion or religious resurgence or return of religion in public sphere was basically a dominant uh, feature of end of the 20th and beginning of 21st century. Well, religious scholars disagree to a certain extent, having in mind that religion was not gone, basically, it's just uh, changed its uh, public role and public opinion into that uh, respect. Uh, uh, one could say that the uh, key uh, issue was about uh, does or does not religion cause the violence. And basically the heated deba debate started in particularly after the acts of terrorism, after the different riots that has been religiously religiously uh, justified or not, quote unquote. But uh, we can notice recently that all uh, debates when religious discourses can be joined is usually about collective versus individual identity. And it is uh, according to this uh, old and unfortunate, I would say, uh, uh, dichotomy West versus rest. In to that respect, uh, I would say that uh, we should not neglect the role of uh, religious discourses in many different matters, including the social matters, matters of social justice, international affairs, uh, human rights discourse uh, as well. But somehow, to, my, to the best of my knowledge, somehow uh, only those who were basically advocating uh, organized religion and organized state uh, relationship are those who are taking uh, religious discourses most seriously. And into that respect, uh, one could say we need to address that as a very important element. Why and how come religion suddenly again becoming a political fact? Certainly, again, return of religion in the public domain uh, into that uh, uh, question context uh, is uh, that uh, no matter the cause of conflict, be that economic or political, ethnic, or this. Uh, classical understanding of the ethno-national conflicts somehow joins religion and religion swiftly were incorporated for one or another matter. Uh, uh, certainly that has to say a, a lot about those who are using or misusing religious rationale, be that uh, clerics or political paratheologians as we call them, or simply those who are looking on the potential of religion to basically heal or, 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 or to a certain extent uh, uh, minimize the frustration caused by conflict. But somehow religion is always present in one or another way. Certainly this is not the way of conflict that we used to have in the, in the past history during the civilization. These are not religious clashes or religious conflicts. But uh, religion is inevitably a factor that we need to take into the context of analyzing the recent conflicts, conflicts is all around the world. However, I would say there is a too much of generalization. You know, religion is not so monolith and different interpretation, different authors or, or different actors claiming different religious narratives and bringing them into, into the particular context is. So you might find out that this is not only between the different groups who are having a different religion origins, or one is without religion and another is with religion origins, but it is rather also intergroup conflict, where within the majority of the same religious uh, groups, uh, uh, different political agendas are pushed in one or another way, and in that respect, religion is again element element of, of, of the conflict. Uh, <clears throat> one could say that uh, what is the most striking uh, feature of the contemporary academic debates is that uh, so far we didn't uh, pay so much attention about the role of religion in conflict in so-called Western paradigm of, of societies, uh, mostly Europe and North America. And then suddenly, and I'm not referring only to the act of terrorism, but in general, this new uh, populist movement, new right wings and so on and so forth, using uh, quite a lot of religious rationale, or they are misusing religious rationale to, to, to advocate uh, certain, certain uh, ideas or trying to achieve certain goals. So in that respect, I would say that this uh, changed role of religious rationale is there because traditional religious organizations, I would say, lost their monopoly of the religious truth. You know, there is now a number of uh, competing discourses uh, who claims to have a right to interpret the texts, uh, organize the communities and so on and so forth. So we are coming to the point that it is not so easy to identify the key actors and uh, who basically into all of that, uh, all of that uh, relationship is one who is having right to represent religion in particular conflict. Basically, a peculiar aspect of the transition from post-socialist uh, uh, 
uh, period uh, till now in, in Western Balkans or, or entirely in former Eastern, Eastern Bloc. So to say is that uh, religion has been understood an exceptionally hard political fact. You know, and that has to say something about, you know, relationship between former regimes and organized religion, but also the expectations of the people and how the role of organized religion changed over, over the time. But I would say that one of the most uh, interesting uh, features uh, speaking about the role of religion in Western Balkans is basically this uh, ethno-national and ethno-religious identification and self-identification, where we basically, during the conflict, but uh, in particularly during the conflict, but uh, also in post-conflict period are witnessing these collapsing ethnic and religious identities one into the another. And that uh, aspect uh, of, of, of uh, Western Balkans, uh, but also some other countries of Eastern Europe, uh, for example, Poland could be very, very representative case, is that uh, uh, this um, inability to make distinction between two group identities, in particularly, uh, ethno-national identity as a group identity and religious identity as a collective identity is certainly uh, part of the problem, not part of the solution. You know, so in that respect, uh, I would say it is quite interesting to take into the into the account uh, very significant uh, role that religion has during this transitional period, either as some authors would claim, either in the role of the cultural defense or in the role of cultural transition. In both of the cases, there are uh, high expectations, and I'm not uh, really sure to what extent uh, uh, ecclesial authorities, clergy, and religious authorities uh, has been ready to be faced with such a, with such a expectations. I would say that uh, the, the majority of, of people, due to all respect to, to some uh, exceptionally good works, were basically oversimplified hypotheses of the role of religion in the former Yugoslav conflicts. You know, so so this oversimplification was not very useful, one could say. And uh, by having say so, I would say that uh, uh, I'm still very much eager to read uh, uh, people, local people from, from from the local authors from the region discussing these things rather than this external oversimplified version of understanding the things.